Alright, today we're going to be having a look at the 25 ACP for self-defense. We're going to be shooting a 10% blister shell block with four layers of denim, which is a FBI protocol. This is Remington Ball Ammo 50 grain, Fioki 50 grain, Fioki XTP Spear Gold Dot Hollow Points, and Hornady Custom XTP. Hey everyone. We're on the range today because we're going to be shooting the 25 ACP cartridge and ballistics gel. Now the 25 auto has a really bad rap when it comes to self-defense, but the reality was the 25 used to be extremely popular. Now the 25 ACP's existence bears around the fact that we've always wanted tiny little handguns like this LWC cap which fits into the palm of my hand. Now there were guns like that that existed back then and they were also in 25 auto, but you wanted something like that that was reliable. Now before then there were small handguns mostly in 22 short that weren't very reliable and John Browning really wanted a cartridge that would be reliable in a tiny handgun and well the 25 ACP was born and it was extremely popular as an officer's pistol and as civilian self-defense firearms tiny little 25s basically dominated the market until the 1960s when the Gun Control Act really started to put a pin on the importation of cheap ex inexpensive and foreign made handguns. Now this allowed for some American guns to come to the fore like the Ravens, Jennings, etc. But they never could live up to the reputation or the small size of the original 25 autos and it really gave the 25 an unfair reputation. And of course the 25 ACP is extremely small and it has a reputation for being extremely weak. But we're going to see how weak. But first let's run some numbers and then we're going to hit the gel. Spear gold dots, 35 grain. 919. 962. 962. Alright, I'm going to go left to right. I'm going to go Remington, Spear, Fioki hollow point, Spear gold dot, and finally, Fioki ball ammo. Alright, let's go ahead and do the necropsy inside. Here is the end of the block where we're at. After the four layers of denim, two Fioki ball rounds, which made it 11 inches into the block after a good bit of tumbling going on midway in their pass respectively. That is one inch wide and it stretches about three inches in total. And you might be asking yourself, what happened to the Remington round? Well, the Remington round, that track is here, but it skipped out of the block. And you can see the exit hole really is non-existent. So who knows what happened with that. But in any case, our third one is the Spear Gold Dot, which tumbled quite a bit in the end, but only ended up at 10 and 3 eighths of an inch. The Fioki round traversed, ending up at the 9.5 inch mark. And finally, the Hornady Custom made it a solid 10 inches, straight path. All in all, we're going to go ahead and take our square here, line it up, 10 inches, 11 inches. The ball rounds really go no more than that. One more thing, we have our two ball rounds, basically just the rifling marks. You probably could just reload them again. Here are our XTPs, okay? They wanted to open up, but they just couldn't. This one was from the Fioki, and this one was from the Hornady. And here's the spear gold dot. Wanted to mushroom, but just couldn't. So what have you gained from all this? Well, it's clear cool that the 25 Auto, and no matter what way you shave it, whether you talk about hollow points or ball ammo, we're talking about something that is probably barely adequate for self-defense. We're getting about 11 inches of penetration out of that ball ammo, and the FBI standard is 12 minimum. So we really are cutting on the knife's edge. I'd imagine the Remington fodder, which is a bit hotter than the Fioki ball ammo, 
that is probably going to make the 12 inches, but the thing is, we lost it during the test, so we really can't go from that. So, for right now, the 25 ACP should be a last resort. It's not that bad of an option, but at the same time, you have to put the bullets where they belong, if you know what I mean. Now, with that said, I'm Mark 3 SMLE, and I'm going out.